Very stylish looking. Hello YouTube, this is Muri Green here. Uh, I am back again. If you are new to this channel, thank you for clicking onto the video. And if you're not, welcome back. I am here with uh, something that I didn't think that I was gonna purchase, but this is a new Mighty Morphin set from Hasbro. So it's the Mighty Morphin Power Ranger Mega Pack. Here we have this, we have the original Zoo Ranger costumes, and then we have over here in the corner the Kiba Ranger uh, from Die Ranger. So let's see it. Here's the side. Here's what's on the back. Hasbro, some writing, and once again, so we have all six of them here. Let's see if I can get this last one in the shot. On the top, it just says Power Rangers. Go. And I've already spoiled the surprise, so let's just have this box moved out of the way so we can see all the figures. And here are the figures out of the box. They all come with their own accessories, with their own uh, unique signature weapons. So here we have this one, the Power Lamp, Power Axe, Power Sword, Power Daggers, but the power daggers don't combine like this. So it's power daggers like this, power bow and power bow and arrow. I want to say power bow and power arrow. And Saba for the White Ranger. These are all eh, colorful plastic pieces for the most part that can all combine to the make the uh, power cannon. The Howling Cannon from Zoo Ranger. And now here we have the figures. So from left to right we have the yellow, red, black, blue, white, and pink rangers. So let's do that. Let's start from left to right. So let's go with yellow. Yellow looks very nice. Very bright yellow. The helmet is true to form, the body not so much. When it comes to articulation, so we have 360 degree rotation. And it goes up and down. Shoulders go out and around. Wrist swivel, uh, no waist. Legs can go out and forward, but not back. And then there, and then there is no boots cut swivel down here. So these are just pretty much very, very stylish looking. So let's see, so here's red. Red looks great. Red has the helmet sculpt that the Lightning Collection Red Mighty Morphin Power Rangers should have had. It looks very crisp, very clean. So here we are. Here is black. My favorite, the black one looks amazing. There we are. 
helmet sculpt looks amazing, everything is where it's supposed to be. So let's go on over to white. I don't know why they went to white. I don't know why they skipped over green, but here is the white one. He's the one who comes with this set. So uh, his arms can go out that far, but they, they're they hindered because of this shoulder pad here for his uh, shield. But other than that, he has all the same type of articu articulation as the other figures. Helmet looks great. Here's blue. Blue is another one. He has the helmet sculpt that the Lightning Collection Blue Ranger should have had in the beginning. There we are. Really, really great. And lastly, here's Pink. Pink's helmet looks by far the oddest. It looks... It looks elongated. It looks like straight on, it looks very funny. But she has the same articulation as the others, except for the fact that hers do, does not go out to the side. There's no hinge here. So, the discarded leg can go forward like that. And it can go, oh, it can go all the way back. Because there is no piece back here. Oh, okay. I didn't notice that before. So she has a full range of motion with the legs. And here we all are again. All of them stand at 11 inches tall, almost at 12 inches, so these are pretty big figures. If you want to pick them up, they are still available on Amazon.com. That's where I picked this set up from. If you want to, I, I guess you can. I, I really wasn't looking on picking these up, but in hand, they're not as bad as I thought they were. So. So that's all for now, thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.